is in New Mexico have a warning out about kids altering gel pellet guns to look real. They say it's part of a TikTok trend that could get someone hurt. Here's News 13's George Gonzalez. It is known as a splatter ball or Orbeez challenge. The trend uses airsoft weapons with water-based pellets as ammunition. But the Farmington Police Department says these weapons are a problem. We have uh, multiple calls for service related to these um, splatter ball guns, Orbeez, uh, gel blasters. They're known by different names. Lieutenant Richard Gibbons with the Farmington Police Department says within the past week alone, they've documented at least three separate incidents where kids have been targeting and shooting random people with the guns. He says in one case, if it weren't for officers' knowledge about the guns, the situation could have turned much worse. We did have one incident where um, one of the gel blaster guns was painted to look realistic. It was painted black, uh, which caused concern from from citizens to call in. It was called in as an armed subject call. So when officers hear that, you know, they're responding to somebody who they believe is armed with a handgun. Parents who are just learning about the trend say they will think twice before allowing their kids to play with them. I'm definitely gonna, not going to get that gun for my son, but I will let him know if he sees anything around, just to let us know, even though it might look dangerous or might not, um, just to keep an eye out. Lieutenant Gibbon says although these aren't real guns, shooting someone with them could lead to real assault charges. One of them is actually listed as a battery because somebody was, was, uh, was struck by them. So, and they, do, they can leave injuries. Gibbon says the department understands kids will be kids, but they hope their message to parents helps keep the community safe. We're asking uh, people not to alter um, their guns. You know, so if it's obviously uh, painted white and orange, it's like that for a reason. George Gonzalez, KRQE News 13. Now, we looked around about half a dozen big stores in Albuquerque. The guns are very popular and we're all out of stock.